DocuSign Monitor helps you protect your agreements by tracking DocuSign eSignature web, mobile, and API account activity around the clock, using advanced analytics for more than 80 types of events, such as when an envelope is completed. DocuSign Monitor also includes about 20 pre-programmed alerts to notify you of suspicious activity, such as multiple login failures. To get started, enable DocuSign Monitor from the DocuSign Admin application. Select the App Switcher icon and select Admin to go to the DocuSign Admin homepage. Select Features. Scroll down to DocuSign Monitor and click Enable. The Enable Organization Feature dialog box is displayed. Click Enable. DocuSign Monitor is now enabled and can be accessed and configured by full DocuSign administrators or delegated security administrators. To view the DocuSign Monitor dashboard, select Monitor in the left panel. Account activity includes dubious attempts to access accounts, unusual patterns around envelope activity, and authentication anomalies. These occurrences are called events, and they can potentially indicate suspicious activity, security breaches, and cyber attacks. Events are displayed as a trend line over time, by geographical location, and by type of status change. Click the three dots icon on any of the graphs, then select Edit to view the details for events, or modify the filters to obtain the data you need. Click the highlighted text description on each graph to edit how the data is displayed. Customers can change the filter, grouping, or sorting order to detect and investigate anomalous transactions and perform a risk analysis. DocuSign Monitor also sends alerts to notify you when an event occurs. Alerts are actionable notifications that you can configure. When an alert is sent, you can use the information included with the alert to investigate and take appropriate measures. An email is automatically sent to DocuSign and eSignature administrators. When you receive an email alert, click View Alert to view the alert details and start your investigation. You can verify that the activity was intentional and warranted, and if needed, perform corrective action. You can later decide to turn off individual alerts that are not useful to you, but it is a best practice to leave all the alerts on in the beginning to determine which alerts you want to receive. Review the history of alerts sent in the Alert History tab. Select the Date Sent range and Alert Type to filter which alerts you want to view. Select an alert to review additional information and take corrective action. Click View Alert Details to display the Event Details page where you can investigate the different events and modify the filters to display only the information you need. For example, if a user has multiple login failures, you can click Manage User to view the user's information in DocuSign Admin. You can then take any necessary actions, such as closing the user, resetting the user's password, or changing their permission profile. You may also want to review past alerts for this user by filtering the events to review only that user's activity. DocuSign Monitor can be set up to only display alerts for locations that are not in your IP safe list. To add IP addresses to your safe list, select the IP safe list tab. Any IP addresses you have previously authorized are displayed. If there are no approved IP addresses, the page is blank. Click Add to Safe List. Enter the authorized IP address and click Save. The IP address is added to those listed as safe. You can also edit or delete an IP address from the list from the Actions drop down menu. For more information about configuring and managing DocuSign Monitor, review the DocuSign University self paced course Detect Potential Threats with DocuSign Monitor. Additional information is also available on the DocuSign support site. Search for the article titled Protect Your DocuSign Deployment with DocuSign Monitor. 
You can also integrate DocuSign Monitor with a third-party application, such as Splunk, Tableau, or Power BI, using the DocuSign Monitor API. For detailed information on DocuSign Monitor API, visit the DocuSign Developer Center to review the available documentation.